So what psychological researchers find is that when they look at how people choose mates, a lot of times people wish for everything and then they end up getting very little of what's actually important to them. And so people want to prioritize their most important things, the most important traits that they want in a partner. It's only about three wishes that you get and we use that number because with each wish for a trait that you make in a partner, you get rid of a certain amount of the population that meet that criteria and so you want to be careful. I'll give you an example. Let's say that there's a room of 100 eligible bachelors and we have one person selecting among those, among those 100 eligible bachelors. Let's say that person wants a man who's tall, and to them that's six foot or taller. That would mean that 80 of those 100 men would walk out of the room at that point, because only 20% of men are six foot or taller. Now let's say they want someone who's a Democrat or a Republican who matches in political belief. That's only about a third of people in the US for either party. So now you lose 16 more of the remaining 20. You can easily imagine how a third wish would quickly take you down to only one partner, or actually zero, out of a possible 100. People want to be very careful about what it is they're selecting. And this actually has a really easy real-world application because in online dating, there's filters, and you can filter out people based on certain traits. And I think sometimes people look at those as preferences rather than absolute rule-out criteria, and that's what's happening. So when you say you want someone of a certain height or of a certain religion or a certain political belief, that means that you get rid of all kinds of people that might have had other good traits that would actually be really valuable.